The Rock the Bald event is recognized by the National St. Baldrick's Foundation. How it works is people who sign up to get their head shaved receive monetary donations from friends, relatives, coworkers, you name it. People are changing a negative into a positive by shaving their heads for childhood cancer research. Kelly De La Hunt was flown in by helicopter upon being recognized for raising over $50,000 for the cause. De La Hunt said he's been supporting the cause a little over six years. How long does it take for you to grow this beard, that you, this impressive beard that you have here? <laughs> the beard starts in September. The hair has been since last shaving last year. De La Hunt said the first time he shaved his head was because of a dare. Uh, came out here, seen all the pictures of the kids that are, are angels, just kind of broke my heart and been doing it ever since. Angels, meaning photos of kids who have passed away because of cancer. They got to cure cancer someplace and uh, these kids just don't deserve this. Inside the Montana City School, there was a performance of Irish dancing, a bake sale, a silent auction, and the Montana City Volunteer Fire Department received an award for the Rock the Bald event, raising over half a million dollars throughout 11 years. James, I love the, the curls you had, but um, I'm really liking this bald look. Um, how does it make you feel that so many people came out here and they're, you know, here for such a good cause. It makes me feel like happy. The treatment came because of donations, and those donations gave us hope we would have not otherwise had. James Buchanan is a cancer survivor. His mother, Tammy, said James is cured, meaning his cancer has a zero chance of coming back. Tammy said James's journey wasn't an easy road. And when something like that happens to your child, um, it's devastating. It's devastating financially and emotionally. So kids in the future will have more hope for a cure than they've ever had before because of what this community does. In Montana City, Lindsay Ford, MTN News. Okay, so just to let y'all know in case you weren't aware that